You can tell a lot about a person by the way he or she handles three things. A rainy day, lost luggage, and tangled Christmas tree lights. You know, for about 20, 25 years, I've been working on developing more patients, and I got that idea via email from one of my former ball players, and I thought this came at a perfect time because it was just time to put the Christmas ornaments away. And in the past, I would take the lights and I would get all upset and I'd grit my teeth and then take me about 15 unpleasant minutes to get them all untangled. But I decided this year, I'm going to be calm because they're tangled. They, they just are. So I took my time, I relaxed, and it took me 15 minutes to get the Christmas tree lights untangled. Took me the same time both ways. But in one instance, I was uptight. In the other instance, I was much, much more calm and relaxed. Life is nothing more than a series of tangled Christmas tree lights. You know, I learn more from my seminar participants than I ever teach. And I'd like to share an idea with you uh, from a participant about dealing with people when they're upset. He said, I kill them with kindness. And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, first of all, I get in step. I'll say something like, you know, I'm really glad you came in and talked to me about this. Let's see what we can do. What a great approach, because now instead of creating tension, you've just calmed the whole atmosphere, and both of you are in a much more resourceful state. He said, then I just listen. And you know, we're all vaccinated with phonograph needles. We want to talk, 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 talk. He said, I just listen. And third, uh, we try to solve the problem. Solving a problem doesn't necessarily mean that you have to tell the other person what he or she wants to hear. But the fact that you had meaningful dialogue instead of a heated discussion will get a whole different set of results. 